Hello and welcome to Quartzlight, your car brochure channel. In today's episode, we're looking at the fabulous Citroen CX. Hello and welcome back. And if you're new to Quartzlight, we're a car brochure channel here on YouTube, looking at car brochures from around the world for the 60s, 70s, 80s and 90s and sometimes beyond that as well so if you're interested in cars and car brochures please consider subscribing okay back to today's episode i thought we'd look at citrons this little tiny little brochure here is actually the full range for citrons in 1981 it's just really small it's actually quite detailed actually for such a little brochure lots of pages surprisingly now i picked out particularly because it's the front cover I picked out the Citroen CX which we're going to be looking at today and also because it is one of my favourite cars that I've never owned so let's have a look at that now so here it is the Citroen all model brochure and like I say tiny 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 but this is actually in really good condition um, and it's got obviously a front shot of the Citroen CX which is the range that we're going to look at today and Quite a nice little range they had in 1981 for the CX. I think these were my favourite CXs as well when they still had those chrome bumpers. I think they just looked so much nicer. And we also noticed with this one, we've just got a driver's mirror, as kind of like was quite often the case in the 80s before the other passenger mirror became more of a standard fit option. Anyway, let's just zoom to the very back cover of this brochure. And on the back page, we got another lovely, lovely CX. I think this is probably my favourite CX, the title at the top of the range, and we'll certainly have a look at that in more detail. You can just make out on this particular brochure, there it is, May 1981. But without further ado, let's open the brochure and go straight to the Citroen CX range. And then we open the brochure up and again when you open it up you know normal brochures are up here some, somewhere this tiny little brochure is here starts with the very base model the cx reflex and the slightly up market from there the athena so let's zoom in on that a little bit better and here we go i've just zoomed in there a little bit the both the models are shown there actually this is your base model the reflex and then they slightly up from that the athena lovely designs i just really love the design of the cx but let's look at the text there and learn a bit more about them so it starts by telling us about the reflex it tells us it represents exceptional value for money as you know a bottom of the range model would do and it's impossible to match in the same price bracket for its combination of economy performance comfort and style it admirably blends executive status with the function of a family saloon. The ultra-modern 2.0-litre engine delivers soaring acceleration to a top speed of 109 miles per hour, outperforming virtually all of its competition. The CX Athena has the same 2.0-litre engine and 5-speed gearbox, complemented by an impressive range of additional luxury features. On all CXs, the hydro pneumatic suspension guarantees a uniquely safe and comfortable ride. Fully powered disc braking, front wheel drive, very power steering and a comprehensive array of warning lights provide additional security. So specifications that Reflex got a 1995cc 106 horsepower light alloy overhead camshaft engine, 5 speed gearbox, Econoscope, Vary Power, Steering, Hydro Pneumatic Suspension, Quartz Clock, Day Night Driving Mirror, External Mirror, Laminated Windscreen, Single Arm, 2 speed windscreen wiper with intermittent wipe and electric screen washers. Heated rear window, illuminated lockable glove box, boot lamp, front inertia real seat belts, fixing points for rear belts, reclining front seats with head restraints, aerial with twin door speakers, jersey cloth upholstery and optional metallic paint. And then moving up to the Athena um, as we reflex plus central door locking, interior engine oil lever gauge, 
electrically operated front windows, all round tinted glass, internal adjustable driver's door mirror, rear sun blinds, town and country air horns, fitted jersey cloth upholstery, full face wheel discs, options metallic paint and an electric sunroof. And then right at the bottom, in just tiny writing, they both do the same fuel economy as you would imagine with the same engine. Um, so a constant 56 miles per hour, it's doing 39.8 miles per gallon. Then we turn the page and we get the next model in the range, the Palace. Obviously, it's quite often seen as being the top luxury model in Citroen ranges, but there is higher models than this at this time. But certainly, a more luxurious and kind of like the model you're probably wanting really um, but let's just zoom in on the image a nice picture no no less but it doesn't really give us many sort of clues that this is the top model although you could probably make out probably nicer seats in there but we've still got, got that driver's um, door mirror on there haven't we we'll have to read the text though to find out exactly what extras we got with this more luxury version so the CX Palace is the most luxurious of the standard wheelbase models in the CX range. So we always say it's the most luxurious, but of course the standard wheelbase models, which you know, clues of what to come. Um, enjoying all the traditional CX virtues of comfort, style and safety, this vehicle may either be fitted with a petrol and a three speed automatic or a five speed manual, or a 2500cc diesel engine with a 5-speed gearbox. The advanced automatic with Bosch L Jetronic fuel injection, accurately metering fuel, ensuring optimum combustion efficiency, accelerates effortlessly to a top speed of 115 miles per hour. Not bad for the early 80s, considering how big a car it was. The manual returns even better performance with improved economy for the open road. The quiet diesel engine makes the CX the only soundly designed aerodynamic diesel on the road and represents excellent value for money. The diesel is more efficient in converting fuel to energy and requires less servicing than its petrol counterpart. So that's interesting, isn't it? I'll just read that again. Less servicing than the petrol counterpart. How often do you hear that about diesels? All CXs are subject to intense quality control before delivery and exhaustive anti-corrosion measures. Okay, so what nice things do we get on the Palace? Well, the CX Palace petrol injection is a 2347cc automatic or manual gearbox, 128 horsepower, CX Palace Diesel's a 2575 horsepower 5 speed gearbox. Specific specifications include same fitments as the CX Reflex with the addition of interior electric engine oil level gauge, ignition keyhole lamp, town and country air horns, internally adjustable driver's door mirror, tinted glass, front and side sun visors, rear sun blinds, electrically operated front windows, front door pockets, map reading, lamp, height adjustable for driver's seat, luxurious chevron patterned cloth upholstery, deep pile carpeting, central locking, and then the options of metallic paint. We can have leather upholstery, air conditioning, and an electric sunroof. So fuel economy figures starting with the automatic by the looks of it, uh, constant 56, we're down to 29.7 miles per gallon now. Uh, the CX Palace Injection 5 speed does a constant 56 at 37.2 miles per gallon, so certainly that automatic really drops it down a lot. And of course, the diesel is probably the more sensible one to have. Uh, we're doing a constant 56, but we're getting 46.3 on this big car. The range surprisingly continues though. We've got this, the Sigax GTI, a bit more sporty, I guess. And let's just zoom in on that main image. There is a bit of a zoom in on the GTI. I like the seats, even on this small picture, they do look nice. And I do like 
those wheels as well and it looks like we've got some extra lights on the front there as well but anyway let's zoom in and have a look at exactly what you got the CX 2400 GTI is an exceedingly well equipped sophisticated sporty car with a top speed of 119 miles per hour featuring Bosch L electronic fuel injection accurately metering fuel and ignition timing and a 5 speed gearbox performance like the other key features by which the CX range is assessed is very favorably assisted by the aerodynamic shape of the car the less wind resistance the better its all-round performance as in all CX's road holding response and mechanical dependability are important advantages derived from very power steering becoming progressively firmer when driving at speed yet finger light when parking hydro pneumatic suspension and self leveling features which when coupled with fully powered disc braking and anti-dive result in a car that exhibits style comfort safety and a blistering performance Specification says 2347 cc 128 horsepower, very power steering, econoscope, central locking, safety instrument console with comprehensive range of functions and warning lamps, electronic tachometer, uh, ignition keyhole lamp, electric clock, interior engine oil level gauge, day night driving mirror, internal adjustable door mirror, town and country air horns, laminated windscreen, single arm windscreen wiper, with two speeds and intermittent wipe, electric windscreen washers, heated rear window, fog lamps, front and rear, tinted glass, front and side sun visors, rear sun blinds, electrically operated front windows, aerial and twin speakers, front door pockets, illuminated and lockable glove box, map reading lamp, front inertia reel seat belts, head restraint, front and rear, height adjustable driver's seat, alloy wheels, options metallic paint lever upholstery and an electric sunroof so if you look at the fuel consumption doing a constant 56 this is getting out 35.3 miles per gallon and then we turn the part page and uh, the car you would aspire to have and certainly i would aspire to have the cx prestige so there's a lovely image of this one i love the uh, the wheel trims um, and of course these are these have got a longer wheelbase um, I do also like this little extra little bit of a chrome bit all that chrome on them and I do like these early ones for the, the chrome I think it looks so nice what a lovely colour this one is as well it looks like a really nice car um, I'm su assuming it's not actually there and it's been superimposed on it because I'm not sure about it driving all the, over these rocks but anyway let's learn a bit more about it and look at the text so the CX2400 prestige injection automatic is the acme of Citroen comfort and style it has a body and wheelbase longer by over nine inches than other Citroen saloons its rear doors are seven inches wider and there are two extra inches of headroom in the generous legroom provided the rear passengers are graced with footrests upholstered in the rich moquette that covers the floor air condition is a standard insulate installation whilst featuring a three speed automatic gearbox as standard a five speed manual gearbox is available at no extra charge so specification 2347 cc fuel injected engine with zf three speed automatic gearbox very power steering central locking system metallic paint vinyl covered roof safety instrument console with comprehensive range of functions and warning lamps electric tachometer electronic clock interior electric engine oil level gauge 
ignition keyhole lamp, town and country air horns, day, night, driving mirror, internally adjustable door mirror, laminated windscreen, single arm windscreen wiper with two speeds and intermittent wipe, electric windscreen washers, heated rear window, tinted glass, front and side sun visors, rear sun blinds, air conditioning, aerial and four speakers, electrically operated windows on all doors, pockets on all doors, illuminated and lockable glove box, front inertia reel seat belts with fixing points for rear belts, reclining front seats, all seats fitted with head restraints, height adjustable driver's seat, foot foot rests for rear passengers, rear grab handles, individual reading lamps, luxurious Button backed jersey cloth seat upholstery, deep pile carpeting options, manual 5 speed and lever upholstery. So let's look at the fuel economy for the automatic. Constant 56, it's doing 31.4. And then if we look at the 5 speed, uh, constant 56, that's doing 34 miles per gallon. And then the final page of the for the Citroen CX range, and indeed the final page of this brochure, we get the estates, the CX Safari and Familial. Let's just zoom in on those images. And there we go. So we've got the Safari there on the left hand side, the Familial on the right hand side there. We'll certainly look at the specifications for those two models. First thing I noticed though, we've now at least got a passenger. Um, rear view mirror but anyway super practical estates I always like the idea of Citroen estates with that hydro pneumatic suspension made them really really practical let's have a look at the text so really the difference between the two it mainly is the extra seats on the familial but anyway the five seater safari and eight seater familial are both large luxury long wheel based estates by folding down the rear seats in both vehicles enormous enormous loads can be accommodated these purpose designed vehicles boast the following advantages a loading capacity taking more weight than other rivals uh, flat um, unpeded load area, exceptional interior height, manual override enable the cars to be loaded at very low level and driven with high clearances over rough ground. Hydro pneumatic suspension ensuring excellent handling characteristics whatever the cargo, a comfortable ride for passengers, safe transit for delicate loads, unique towing capacity with resistance to snaking and the tendency of the tow bar to pitch and toss, heavy duty rear suspension arms, large rear brake calipers and vented ventilated discs to the rear brakes as well as the front the safari and familial may be fitted with a 2347cc petrol engine with a choice of transmissions 5-speed manual 3-speed automatic or a 2500cc diesel engine with a 5-speed gearbox specifications comprehensive equipment and high levels of trim similar to the cx athena for full specification details of these models, um, see the latest Citroen 80 page, all model brochure available from your Citroen dealer, etc, etc. But like I say, the difference really is the extra seats in that familial. At the bottom there we can see the fuel, com uh, fuel consumption for these estates. Um, so if we're looking at the 5 speed petrol, town driving oh let's look at constant 56 as that's what we've been looking at so five speed petrols doing 33.2 miles per gallon the automatic 28.8 miles per gallon and the diesel an impressive 45.6 miles per gallon so there we go the impressive citroen cx's of 1981 like i say one of my all-time favorite cars do you remember these did you own one how did you get on with it? Let me know in the comments. Of course, buying one now. Complicated cars mean lots of issues for sure, but still one of those dream cars for me. Thank you so much for watching Quartz Light today. Many more episodes coming in the near future, so don't forget to like and subscribe. 
and we'll see you very soon so take care and goodbye